maybe maybe the best story I got, so I hope it's good. Okay, so basically, um, back in 2003, I was uh, out of college. I had an English degree. I was working at Hilton Head because my buddy uh, from preschool he got me a job throwing baggage and in typical like English major fashion. I had my little notebook. And I'm like sitting in this bar down by the beach. The night's going on. I'm filling up my notebook with these sad words. And then all of a sudden, at the corner of my eye, I see like this girl walk into the bar. Like the, I'm just like, what? And I'm like, gotta go. Starts walking up to where I am. I'm like, she's coming to talk to me. I'm like riding this down. And she's like, what, you like some sort of rider or something? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a rider. And she's like, why? Okay, whatever. I actually am a rider. She sits down and she starts talking to me and she's like, you know, I'm going to grad school. I'm going, like, all right, well, peace out. I got to go. My sister's birthday. And so I'm like, what just happened? I guess I just blew it. Oh, the guy, I don't have her name. I don't have a phone number. Got no email. I, so I'm like, this is wonderful. This is perfect. What do I do with that? So I go back to Missouri, where I'm from. I go to grad school, get my master's. Still can't get a job. Off I go to this other school in Missouri, like a couple hundred miles away from my house, and like, uh, it's my first day. They're like showing me around. Like, okay, cool. Here's your uh, desk. Here's where you'll be doing most of your work. And uh, you know, here's your uh, desk mate. And I walk down the steps, and there's like this girl there, and I'm like, oh, I'm kind of familiar. And she's like, mm, you look kind of familiar too, but like, keep your stuff off of my side. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I'm like instantly in love, right? I'm like, where do I know this girl from? A year or two later, finally, I'm like sort of sort of moving in on this girl a little bit. We're sort of dating. We've gone out a couple times. And like my professor uh, is like gives me this writing assignment. And he, she's like, you know, go and get an old journal and like find a story that like, you know, was maybe started that you wish you could like do over or something. So I'm like going through my old journals and stuff. I hadn't thought about this in a long time. And so I'm like, I'm like, man, what do I write, what do I write about? What do I write about? And then suddenly like it kind of opens up to this page from like 2003 and I'm like, what's this? And it's like this description of this sandwich and stuff. And suddenly I'm like, Poof! and I'm like, ah, you know, I'm back in this bar and there's this girl walking in and like, you know, she's got the hair blowing in slow-mo and I'm like, Huh, huh, that's like my girlfriend now. That's like four years later, but like I'm going out with that girl from that bar in this place right now. It's like a thousand miles away and like all these months later and I'm like, ah, oh, so that guy from the bar. And I'm like, you're that girl from the bar. I'm like, what? Anyway, so yeah, that's how I met her. And yeah, the first time anyway. I think I probably proposed to her after like, like six months. We're coming up on our 10 year anniversary now. Got three kids, house, jobs together. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot.